community has brought, uh, we have a lot more folks investing in virtual reality. Not just in this community, but we have Samsung investing in virtual reality. We have Valve and HTC investing in virtual reality. Now we have Google and others. So this is really happening. And we have a lot to be excited about. Now, the first step for getting virtual reality out into the world is, is getting the basic hardware out there. And, and this is happening, right? And it's happening, I think, at a faster rate than uh, any of us had really expected. And, you know, we, we had a little bit of a slow start earlier this year on Rift, but now that's rolling out quickly. And we're going to get touch in your hands by the end of this year, too. So we're excited about that. These products and talking about hardware, because there's a lot more innovation in hardware to go to get to that ultimate experience that we all want. But it's also true that with the hardware we have today, it's already possible to build some pretty amazing experiences. In the next phase of developing virtual reality, which is building great software experiences. Now, I, I want to tell you a fun story quickly before we get into this. Uh, one of the fun parts of my job is that whenever a president or a prime minister from another country comes to the US, they often want to come to Facebook to see what new technology we're working on. And that means that I get to be the first person who's ever showed them virtual reality. And you know, they usually don't have much time, because you know they're running a whole country. But uh, <laughs> so I get to show them a few things. Uh, you know, I normally take them into Toy Box. We play some ping pong in, in zero gravity. Uh, we'll make a sculpture in medium. I'll show them a 360 video. And you know, depending on what kind of a leader it is and what their culture is, maybe we'll play a first-person shooter, too. 